hello guys welcome to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church poster so before any further ado let's get started today i'm going to use correct draw in this design then i'm going to change my paper size to A4 alright and here is the color I'm going to use then I've already prepared this one on ground so now what I'm going to do now I'm going to change it to inches then I will enter view then snap to document snap to guideline okay so then i'll drag bring your cursor to this area then you drag this one to this place then you will see that here here is zero and here is zero now I'm going to draw a rectangle then I will remove the outline color then Ctrl plus I to import then these are the material I'm going to use in this tutorial then I will highlight to import all of them that is control a then i'll drag them okay all right then you can right click on this then you convert it to artistic text so you can see now when you convert it so this is what i have all right then this one there is no need because i have it here now i'm going to bring this background then i will scale it out okay I will leave it like this then go to effects then go to your blur Gaussian blur then I'm going to increase it to somewhere 13.6 then I'll click OK alright then I'll move it to this area then use my right click drag it here then I'll power clip it alright so another way to power clip then is to go to your objects then you will see power clip then place inside frame so i'm using corel draw 2021 so it may be different from the one you are using then after this one then i'm going to bring this one then i will increase the size like this it's okay then I'll place it around here. Alright. Then and I'm going to blur it. Go to your effects again. Go to blur, then Gaussian blur. Then and I'm going to, to blur it around 59 points. Point 0.5. It's okay. Let me 59 point 0.5. Then I'll click OK. Alright, it's OK like this. Then go to your blend. Then I'll drag it here. I'll bring this one down. It's alright. Then right click or, or you go to your object. Then select power clip. Then click here so this is what we have now after this one the next thing i'm going to do 
is to place this image then I'll position it somewhere around here then I will apply my blend I'll blend this side then go to your bitmap then you convert it to bitmap why I'm converting it to, to bitmap then for example now if I blend somewhere here then and I come over here to blend you will see that this one will not apply to it again you see so that is why I need to convert it to bitmap before I apply it to another area then apply your bitmap again then and the last one is the bottom here all right something like this then apply your bitmap again then i'm going to change the blending mode to overlay something like this then i'll go to my object then power clip then place inside frame then i'll click here so this is what i have after that then i'm going to bring this brush so this brush is the same brush i used recently in my tutorial in photoshop then it's okay like this i will go to my transparent tool then i will blend the top here something like this it's okay then right click then apply power clip okay then after we are done with this one then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to select this one then i'll place it here then hold your control key while you apply page up so that is to bring it to the front then another way to do it is to go to your object so when you go to object then you see order then bring to bring back of page then back of layer then one back in front behind so this is the area you can find it so now that we are done with this one then the next thing i'm going to break this one Control plus k then i'll remove this one because i have it already then i'm going to remove this one then press z using your keyboard then that is to apply zoom then i'm going to break this one again Control k to break to break it then when you go to your object again then you will see break worship night apart then you click on it then you break it now i'm going to change the font to railway then i'll select the last one that is railway heavy black then i'll break it here then i will increase the font size something like this then apply white color then i will click on my shape tool then i'll drag this one up like this you can see then you click on it again then you click this one here then you rotate it like this that is entirely way then i'll position it around here Take it up then i will scale it more bigger it's okay like this 
then okay all right then press z again then you increase it then i'm going to change this one then i'm going to change the fonts so here are my tests so the font i use this one is burning hearts then i'm going to change the font to burning heart then apply white color so here i'm going to change this color because it's not that white so what i will do now then i will right click then drag it here then i'm going to copy fill here you see copy fill here apply on it then automatically i copy the color then where you can also do this again is by going to edit you can see it from here copy property from then if it is fill color then you now select fill color then you click on this one so when you click on this one the entire color will automatically transfer to here then for example let me use this one now then copy property from that is fill color and i'll click here when i click on this one then you will see the color automatically now ctrl z to go back or you click here then increase it then i will reduce it like this it's okay it's okay like this all right then on this one i'm going to apply outline color so what i will do now then i'm going to use my right click then drag it to this place so what I need now is the outline. So I'm going to select outline. It depends on the keyboard you are using. Then press F12. Then I'm going to increase it to something like 5. The outline. Something like 5%. Then I'm going to click OK. So it's not showing, then I'm going to double click here or you press your F12. You see? So between these two one, or you press F12, then it will appear. Then I will increase it to 8 and see what will happen. Then press Z to zoom it out. You can see very tiny. All right. F12 then I will apply it okay you can see on this one then it then I will change it from pieces to points so I'm going to use point so now I see that is the reason why that's been showing me all those things things so point now then i'm going to use it you can see now it is too big then i'll use three then apply four okay four is okay then i'll click okay then i'm going to drag this one to it then I will copy the outline color. Then this four is too much. Then I will press F12 again. Then I will use two and C. I think two is okay. Then on this one, then go back to F12. Now that you are using 12 uh, point, now you can see. Then I'm going to increase it. So four, then oh, uh, let me say six. So six now you can see. Then 
Let me change it to five. Then five is okay. Then I'll click okay. Then now we increase, increase it. Alright, so I think you can see it this way is okay, like this. Then what I'll do now is to bring this image, then I will increase the size. Then right click, then click here to power clip it then i'll bring this one down to this location then control page up to bring it forward so then i'm going to remove this one already i have it here then i'm going to change this font to railway then i'll make it railway board now what i'm going to do now i'm going to draw a cycle hold down your control key to draw a perfect cycle then i'm going to apply a white background then why the outline color i'm going to apply this one then I will increase the outline color to 1.5. Then I will duplicate it. Then you can hold your control key while you drag it, then you right click to duplicate it. Then I'm going to reduce the size of this image. Then use your right click to drag it here, then apply clipping mask. So when I say clipping mask, that is to power clip it. In Photoshop, we use clipping mask. So why here it is power clip. Then this one, I will also reduce it a bit. Why I will use my right click, then drag it here, then I'll click. okay so this is what you have now so the next thing i'm going to draw a rectangle here like this then i will apply this color then remove the outline color wow now i'm going to then apply a transparent something like this so this one is too light then maybe I should use something like this. Then go back to my transparent. Then I will hold down my control key while clicking on this color to tint it. Alright, so it's okay like this. So what I'll do now, I'm going to copy the name. And the name is not here so what i will do now is to type it so i will duplicate this one then i'm going to type the name here Then I'm going to change the color to white, then reduce the font size, then I'll place it over here. And I will reduce the font size. Alright, it's okay like this.
Then I'll move this one to somewhere here. Then you zoom it out. Then why I will reduce the font size. Now I'm going to duplicate this one. You can press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Then you drag it somewhere here. Then I will reduce the size. Then remove the name. Then still reduce, reduce it. Okay. Then I'm going to bring it back. And when you use your mouse, all right. Then I'm going to reduce the names. Then change the color to white. Then hold your shift key. Then press C using your keyboard and E to apply vertical and then horizontal alignment. Now I'm going to duplicate this rectangle here. Then I will position it here. Then bring this one forward. Then I will change the color to white you see white here this is the same white so anyone you want between the two then you can use it it depends the photoshop you are using uh, sorry i mean the color draw you are using okay so that is it about the tutorial now the next thing I'm going to do now is to apply a shadow. So I'm going to apply a shadow to this test here. Then select the test. Then I'm going to click on shadow here. Then I'll drag it down like this. Then I'm going to reduce the feather to somewhere 11 or 10, 21. Then I will increase the shadow. I'm going to increase the shadow. Okay. So it's okay like this. Then click on the shadow. Then I'm going to break it. Right click. Then you see break shadow. Now I'm going to select the shadow. Then right click and power clip it. Yes, come down here. Yeah. It's okay. Then also apply shadow to this one. Then reduce the feather. I'm going to leave the feather around 8%. Then increase this one. All right, then I'll click OK. Then right click somewhere around that side and you break it. So now that I break it, then I'm going to select the shadow again. Use my arrow key. Then to bring it down. Now you can see the effect of the shadow.
then F4. That is to zoom to page. So that is all about this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. I really appreciate. Thank you.